Welcome to Eucanic. Today here on Eucanic we have a 2014 Toyota Highlander and we're going to go over how you'd remove the bumper um, for anything that you need to, to fix behind it. So to start with to remove the bumper we've got a various amount of bolts, push pins, and uh, part of the fender, it, this skirt needs to come off a little bit. You're going to see this, um, this piece of plastic here so it's got nine push pins that go into it to pull it off, but then you've got two more that hold on these little sides. So a total of 11 push pins. These two here, um, you don't have to take that one off up the top there, but it comes in handy, right? So you can just remove this piece, the same one right here on this side. And then when you've removed all of these push pins, then you can just pull this off. And to do all of that, like I said, that's 11 push pins that hold this panel on. So once you've removed those, there are larger push pins that go in right here and here. So there's larger push pins that go in here and here, and then here, here, and there you've got one here and one here. One's part of goes into your light housing, and then um, into the uh, part of the frame, right? So the push pins that are here look like this. They're a bit they're a bit larger. And then you've got three that's right down in here. So you'll have to reach down. There's one there, one straight down where the emblem is, and there's the same on the other side of one that sits right down here. And again you have to reach down in there to pull those out. These are what the top ones look like that go into the, the cover plate. They're a little bit nicer, and so when they're closed, they have just a nice little cap like that. So once you've, once we've removed all those push pins, then we've got to work our way on the bottom. So down around the bottom here, there are eight of these bolts that bolt from the bumper into part of this the shield and so you gotta remove those and then I'll show you what you gotta do on the side with the, uh, the fenders and that's uh, the more tricky part. So on this side with the fender because we have this skirt that goes on it it makes it a little harder to get things off so you've got a bolt here and we have a bolt up here and then we have a push pin here and we have this push pin that's just this uh, long thing here and you literally have to turn it a half a turn or a quarter turn and then you can pull this out and that sits right in there and that connects the fender well to the the bumper itself those pieces then once you get those out there are some push pins here you can remove all the push pins we don't need to remove this whole piece completely but we do need to pull it away from the vehicle and so you're going to pull it and work your way around and then you'll be able to get to this point where now we have access to, to remove them. And these these pins are, are kind of tough to get to pull out so if you can get on the inside with pulling this fender well you can kind of pull and then you can see the uh, the pin here and you can push it with a screwdriver so they'll pull out and that you don't break them. And then when we get to this point and we've we've worked our way around you'll do the same on the other side to get that started and now we do have fog lights on this one so you're also going to once we get the bumper pulled away and to pull off we're going to need to undo some electric before we completely take the bumper out away. Right, so then on this side, you're going to grab, so right here, we've got where the bumper meets the fender, and this is the plastic bumper and then the, the metal fender. So we've got where it meets the fender, and we've got to just kind of pull on it, and there is a clip, and so if we can just, uh, just kind of get that first clip to release, then the rest... We'll pull away. OK, 
Okay, so now we've got we've got that bumper portion released. We make sure we have the same release on this side. See the bumper is just hanging there. I left one clip in up here so that it doesn't just fall off. And so we'll just take that clip out. And now you'll be able to just easily pull the bumper away. And like I said, we've got to unhook some of the electric connectors for the fog lights. So we got the uh, electric undone on there for the fog light and this LED section down here. So we've got to do the same on this side. Alright, so we've got all the electric connectors undone. Um, they're a little bit of pain. I'm going to remove this last little bit here. And then you'll be able to just pull and remove your whole bumper. To be able to do whatever work you need to do behind that. Thanks for watching Eucanic, where you can be the mechanic.